this is why you clicked. To see a new Teams app that can help people keep their team members up to date. And it's called Updates. Let's see it in action. I see a notification in my activity feed and it's a request for an update for a project I'm working on. I tap the notification and a form opens up. The update title and date are already filled out, but I can change them if I need to. I fill out the form. Some of the fields are required. I submit the update and I carry on with work. In another team, a project manager is requesting some updates on tasks that we're working on. The project manager has started a conversation in the general channel, asking everyone to share an update. They use the updates app in the conversation to request an update. I reply to the conversation using the updates messaging app and choose the scheduled update from the project manager. I fill out the form and submit it. My update appears as a card in the conversation thread. And then other team members add their updates to the conversation. So what did we just see? What is the updates app? It's just a form, isn't it? So why is that a big deal? For a person sharing an update, it gives them a concise way of giving that update, some guidance around what to share. For the person requesting the update, it helps them to quickly check and glance over some of the updates from the team members in a standard way so they can quickly get up to date with what people are working on. So really the updates app centralizes the way that we can send and request updates across the teams that we work in. It simplifies the way that we can deliver updates and hopefully it will reduce things like stand-up meetings and lengthy conversations that take us off the rails in some of those meetings. It's powered by Microsoft Forms and we'll see that uh, as we look at it a bit closer. Uh, and it was introduced as initially uh, something for frontline workers to be able to quickly report an update or fill out a, an incident report and, and quickly uh, go through and give their update in a concise way. But I believe it's going to have a lot of potential for other roles and scenarios across all sorts of organizations. So let's take a closer look. We'll start with installing the app. Okay, to install the app, we're going to go into uh, the uh, app rail and search for updates. And once we've opened that up, we can pin it to the rail. It might take a few um, seconds or two to install the app and, and display the initial page. And there are two pages or two tabs in this app. There's the submit updates or review updates. The submit page is where updates can be requested or scheduled. At the top of the page are updates that I need to complete. A team member has requested an update on or before a certain date. It has been scheduled. Below the scheduled updates are updates that I have already submitted. I can open the updates to recall what I have submitted, but today I can't edit the update after I have submitted it. Okay, I'm going to go and create a request for a scheduled update. This is a, an interesting process. Requests for updates are called templates. When you create a request, it creates a form in the background that can be used as a template later. Open the submit page and choose create and manage templates. This page displays other update templates that have been created and used. Choose add new template. Start from a blank update or choose from an existing template. Create a new updates template and give it a title and description. Then design the form for the template. You add questions. And it's at this point you recognize that Updates is powered by Microsoft Forms. You can create and edit questions just like you can in a Microsoft Form. But today, Updates are limited to text questions, choices, and dates. We may see some more in the future. I'll add a text question. I can set the text as a long answer. I'll add a choice question. 
Are you planning to work in the office this week? On the rule setting page, I can set who I'm asking to send the update. I can add individual names or a team name. And a team name is quite useful because the scheduled update is sent out to all team members. I guess you'll use that with caution depending on the size of the team. And that's because each team member will receive a notification. When a update is scheduled for them, they'll see that notification. They might even see a banner um, as an initial experience. And that's something you can turn off if the banners become annoying. But um, again, be mindful if you're sending out this uh, scheduled update to all team members. Team members will also see a request for the update scheduled on their submit page of the app. Now I can set the viewers who will review the updates that have been submitted. Viewers will also see a notification whenever an update has been submitted. So again, think of that team scenario that if you've set a viewer and you have a team of 50 or 100 people, there could be 50 or 100 notifications. In the advanced settings, I'm going to set how often the updates are requested. I can set it as a weekly update and I can choose the days of the week, a monthly update, or I can set it as a one-time request. Note, when you do schedule an update, there will be a reminder sent before the update is due, and that reminder will appear in the activity feed. After the update template has been created, it can be enabled or disabled for use. Now let's look at the review page. This is where we can review the updates that have been sent for the updates we have scheduled. At the top of the page, we can see the progress of the updates that have been scheduled or requested. Each update shows a card displaying the progress of an update. So I can see at a glance how the update is progressing, how many people have filled it out. And I can get a reminder there of when the update is due. In the list of the updates that have been submitted, I can open up an update card and see the responses. Now thinking of the activity feed, I think that's going to be quite an important mechanism for driving responses for the update requests and adoption of the updates app in general. Update notifications will appear in the activity feed and they'll also appear as a banner. But remember, you can turn the banner off if it becomes distracting. The great thing about the activity feed is that your updates will appear amidst all the other messages you might be checking. So you're going through and checking on conversations and chats, uh, maybe you're looking at tasks, and right there in between is some requests for updates or maybe responses that you need to check as a viewer of the updates. So what type of update notifications will you find in your activity feed? You see when you have been asked to submit an update, if you are a submitter. You'll also see a reminder to submit an update when it's due soon. When you've been assigned as a viewer of an update, you'll get a notification. And when an update has been sent for you to review, then you can go in and jump directly to the update and check out the content. We saw earlier that updates can be requested and submitted within a conversation. That's within chat or channel conversations. I believe this is going to also help drive the response rate and the adoption of the app itself. Think about this when other team members are responding to the conversation and sharing their updates. There are updates there as a card and it will prompt you also to join the conversation and share your update. And one last tip about updates. Remember, they are powered by Microsoft Forms. So let's see what we can do if we visit the Microsoft Forms app. We can open the form and we can see all the updates that are there in the form of forms. But when we open up the form, we can't edit the form in the Forms app. We've got to do that within the Updates app. You can view all the responses to the form. You can page through them just like you can with usual forms. But probably one of the more powerful ways of viewing this data is exporting the form responses playing around with the data, visualizing it through Power BI, through Excel reports, pivot tables, maybe even a PowerPoint chart. 
Now, at first glance, I thought, mm, you know, it's the updates app and it's a quick way to fill out a form. Um, but on looking closer, as you can see, it's going to help make updates that we share with our team more concise, more guided, and potentially avoid some of the meetings that we don't really need to attend. I can see this being a good replacement for a stand-up meeting and may be used in combination with updating your tasks and a planner board or, or some other project type management tool. So that's the updates app. I believe it is going to be quite useful and we'll keep you up to date with updates about the updates app um, in the near future. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.